Hello, I'm Valdemar Albrecht. You know, one of the biggest trends in entertaining is the cheese party. And why not? Specialty cheese is incredibly delicious and very convenient. With a range of tastes so scrumptious, you know there'll always be a crowd pleaser. The key is offering an eclectic mix of flavor sensations and a range of textures. And the best place to start the cheese board, of course. Now, when preparing your cheese board, the first thing you want to do is select the freshest cheese, just as you would with fruit. Make sure it's clean and fresh, and buy only what you can consume in a few days. An ounce of each cheese per person is a good measuring rule. Second, go for variety. Choose a selection of three to five types of cheeses, with at least one type from each of the following categories. Fresh, semi-soft, bloomy rind, hard, and blue cheese. And make sure to include a mix of milks, like cow, sheep, and goat. For example, in our cheese board today, we have fresh precedent goat cheese. Clean, light, and tangy. The best way to cut it is in coin-shaped slices, just like this. Beautiful. Our second cheese is Petit Basque, which is a sheep smoked cheese. And we will cut from the center out, sort of a pie slice, right here. This cheese, as you can see, has a wax on the outside, so I would recommend removing the wax and just leaving the paste of the cheese. Now, I would remove the upper rind and cut slices of the pie. Just simple, like this. Then you can fan them around for a nice presentation. Cheese number three is President Brie, which by the way, is the number one brand of Brie in France. And this one, we want to cut alongside that beautiful edible bloomy rind. Then this one's you can probably cut in smaller pieces if you wanted to, or you can just leave it as whole. The next cheese we have is called Madrigal, or a baby Swiss. This cheese also has a wax rind on the outside, which I would consider removing before you make your first cuts. And then you can go ahead and cut slices. This cheese has a sweet and nutty flavor to it. It's a beautiful cheese that you could melt if you wanted to, or just eat away with a nice glass of wine. And there we have three different slices. And finally, we have our blue cheese, which is the Societe Roquefort, a very salty and rich and creamy blue cheese. You'll use a butter knife for this one and sort of spread it around near your bread or any fruit that you would like to have it with. Arrange the cheeses from mild to strong and try to display a different knife for each cheese. I think it's a good idea to label each cheese and include a few adjectives so your guests will know what to expect with each bite. You can download these cards from the president website to use at your next party. Okay, so now you're probably wondering what else goes on the cheese board besides cheese? There's so many things. Try berries with brie, nuts with the madrigal, pears with the roquefort, dried apricots with the fresh goat cheese, and chutney for the petit basque. Be sure to offer a selection of breads, including sliced baguettes, breadsticks, crackers. As for presentation, that's easy too. Choose a beautiful surface, such as wood or granite board, or a nice tray or platter. One favorite is a two or three tier platter that gives height to the presentation. Number two, cut a few pieces in advance to show your guests the way and to show the beautiful and varied textures. 
And remember, you'll want to set your cheeses out about 30 to 60 minutes before your guests arrive, because cheeses taste best at room temperature. So there you have it. Creating the perfect cheese board is so easy. No wonder it's so popular.